all right guys so if you're not into rents don't even watch this video but we're going to talk about why i no longer am going to the barbershop that i promoted uh that i spoke very highly about i just left the barbershop as you can see i got my cut all right so let me tell you uh <laughs> let me tell you guys about what type of customer i am all right and when you work in the in the in the service industry you provide a service um and you need to have good customer service and you got to respect the customer all right i'm not saying the customer is always right but certain shit um certain shit is just not acceptable at least for me so i paid for about a 30 minute time slot to do my cut and my beard all right so put yourself in my position when i lived in baja it was about a two minute walk right to get to my barbershop i no longer live in baja so i have to count in the fact i had to pay for an uber to get here it's about a 30 minute uber ride all right and i chose this time slot uh because it was it was the time that was good for me all right and that time slot was available for 30 minutes, a 30 minute time slot. So I paid for my my 30 minutes to get my haircut and my beard. Right? Now where shit gets that where shit gets kind of crazy is that if I pay you for 30 minutes, I expect to get my 30 minutes. Right? I don't I don't expect you to say you don't have time or you want to pass me off to the next person that I've never even went to, right? If I paid you for a service and I paid you for a specific time, I expect to get that. Especially when I've been promoting the hell out of your barbershop. Posted it on my YouTube platform, posted it on social medias, posting it everywhere. A lot of times when guys come to Salvador, they go to this barbershop, all right? I've took at least seven to eight different guys to this barbershop and they went because of shit. I recommend them going. Not to mention all the other people that went, all right? Though I never expected any type of promotion, right? Any discount, any free cuts. I never expected that. Though that would be nice, but I never expected it. The least thing you can do, bro, is if I paid you for 30 minutes for a cut and to do my beard, it's to give me what I asked for. <laughs> you feel me? Don't tell me you don't have time. Don't tell me you don't have this or that. Bro, I paid for that time slot. All right? So, this is not saying that they're not good at what they do. They're great barbers. But a great barber is not only what they do with the Clippers, but how they treat their customers. Feel me? So, there's a lot of great barbers in Brazil, bro. <laughs> there's people, there's barbers right around, I'm about to sit right here for a second. There's barbers right around where I live at, right? They live, they, uh, they cut literally right next to where I live. And so today I paid 50, 50 hay ice for a cut which is about 10 US, 10, 11 US, but they they cut where I, where I live now, which is outside the tourist zone, and I can get this same cut for like five US, all right? And the thing is, once you leave outside the tourist zone, everything drops. Again, my apartment was 400, hey, I, uh, 400 US in Baja, which is the, the biggest popular area. But in in uh, where I'm staying now, it's about 115, 120 US. So once you leave the tourist area, almost everything drops drastically. But the thing is for me, I don't let everybody cut my hair. I don't let everybody play in my head. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it comes with ups and downs, but I could save a lot of money. The Uber was about six bucks to get here. Six bucks to get here plus $10 on a cut. So I spent all around $16 for a 
for this whole thing, right? When I could have walked to the barbershop and not paid for Uber and just paid six. And these barbers are really good. So I'm just, I'm a loyal customer when it comes to, I would rather go to my normal barber, even if it's 30 minutes away, just to give him, you know, uh, my, my, my money, because I know he's good at what he do. But shit like that is what turns me completely off um, about a barbershop, bro. Like, I literally came all the way over here. You know I come from way over here. And you still can't even just take the extra five minutes that I paid for and give me what I asked for, bro. That's bullshit. So, uh, he apologized and all this and that, but it is what it is, bro. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take my money and spend it elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's all good. Uh, we're about to go to the mall right now, <clears throat> and uh, just got I got to do right based on food, and we're about to go to the crib after this. But she at the home, she at the crib waiting for me right now. So, anyways, everybody right here looking at me crazy because I'm sitting here vlogging, but uh, <laughs> probably because I'm speaking English. But anyways, man, that's it. That's that's my little rant. That's my little rant. That's what I wanted to say. But either way, the boy still looks good and. Like I said, if you want to go to their barbershop, I would still recommend you going. It's a great barbershop. They got good barbers in there, but it's just certain shit for me that I'm just not cool with and I'm not okay with accepting, especially when I've been giving you hella business and, you know what I'm saying, just being a loyal customer when it comes to the shit customers are supposed to do, all right? That's my take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. We'll see y'all in the next video.